Hi, this is uh, Mike Lebowitz's conscience calling. This is embarrassing. I know it's weird to get a call from Mike Lebowitz's conscience. Uh, we do this sort of dissociative thing every once in a while. Mike is probably knee deep in TiVo and Glee or uh, something like that. Uh, I don't know, probably maybe watching Vimeo. Look at that beautiful depth of field. You know, I think I might buy a DSLR and try it out. It doesn't look so hard. Those HDR photos are so beautiful. I got a Leica lens. But uh, me, Mike's conscience, I'm across the street right now at Pinkberry's. I'm stuffing my face in some Froyo. And uh, my perpetual midlife crisis is flaring up again. I gotta get this off my chest. And I want all my, uh, my employees, nope, not my employees, they're my crew. I want my crew to know how I really feel, all right? I mean, something is wrong, guys, something is wrong. Our website is beautiful, our client list exclusive, Target, Royal Caribbean, Wrigley, Grey Goose, 50 Cent's Hip Hop Vitamin Water. These are the brands that people look to for meaning in their shit lives. They got nothing, nothing to look forward to except what we give them, okay? These are the game changer brands, the 2012 brands, the big swinging dick brands, and yet they are looking to us for guidance. They come to Big Spaceship, the house that I built, me and Mike, you know what I'm saying? And they pay well for it, trust me. I'm rolling in pussy. Or if I'm gay, I'm rolling in dick. Or if I'm a straight woman, I'm rolling in dick. Or if I'm a gay woman, I'm rolling in pussy. Cause that's what it's all about. Pussy and dick. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's about the people, okay? Let's look at our staff. My crew, my squad. They got my back, okay? Saving Private Ryan style. White guy, white guy, dog. Crazy weird scientist looking white guy who's probably the lamest one out of all of y'all. Another white guy, another white guy, Asian girl doing a peekaboo face. That's not annoying at all. White girl doing a silly goofy face. She's probably mad fun to talk to at parties. Dog, racially ambiguous golden skin girl, might be Indian. An Asian guy doing peekaboo face. It's my squad. And the people I work with, they're a bunch of whip smart dedicated, new idea-seeking, iconoclastic paradigm shifters, you heard? These aren't my employees, it's my crew. We're like the A-team. We go on missions, programming flash games, dropping bomb-ass tweets. We got a subscription to Pete's Coffee, and if you, hell, if you come work with us, you better like pizza. Because over here, this is not your average 9 to 5. You hear me? This is like Chuck E. Cheese for people in their early 30s who wish they were in their late 20s. Plus we got dogs, cause if New York City doesn't smell bad enough for you, like a diaper full of bloody red fucking drug addict shit, imagine how our office smells with all these fucking dogs. But still, I don't know, something's missing, something's wrong, okay? I'm your conscience, Mike. I'm talking to you and all your, all your boys down there. We work hard. We are perfectionists, but we revel in stepping away from our monitors, our Apple Cinema displays, expect no less, to play ping pong or foos. Foosball equals utopian working environment, but the utopian working environment isn't what I'd call this place, just not yet. There's, I don't know, one little thing maybe missing. I'm your conscience. I mean, after all, I'm Mike Lebowitz. And when I'm not accomplishing shared visions using methodologies and shifting paradigms, making commercials for sugar water, alcohol, and printers, oh, and Hollywood movies like Serendipity and Bridget Jones's Diary, I enjoy wearing all black clothes that I buy from Ben Sherman and Todd Oldham. Oh no, it's not, it's not black black, it's brown black. It's a, it's a rich deep black. You can't see it in photographs. It's a Mac black. Steve Jobs black. When I go home and tuck my kids in, I always take a faux Polaroid of them with my iPhone 4, the Polaroid app, and remind them that if they shoot for the rainbow, they'll always land in Skittles. Yet I can't put my finger on this funny, hollow feeling I have all the time. 
Now listen, all you people, my squad, my peeps, over there at Big Spaceship, the Challenger, raise your hand in the air if the following applies to you. Raise your hand in the air if you own a kid robot dunny. Keep it in the air. Now if you... Thank you. You've reached the voicemail box for Nikki Lafredo at Big Spaceship. <clears throat> I can't take your call right now, but if you leave a message, I will call you back. Thanks. Please leave your message after the tone. When done, hang up or press the pound key. I hope you kept your hands in the air. Because the CEO said so. Now raise your hand if you've ever paid money for a Crystal Castle CD or a Chromio CD. Keep those hands up. Now raise your hand if you got a Moleskine or Moleskina notebook with blank pages sitting in your nightstand. That's right, Eric. I know you were planning to record your dreams, but you were too damn lazy. Or maybe it just wasn't a good idea. But damn, that notebook is nice. Michelangelo wrote in one. Leonardo da Vinci wrote in one. Now raise your hand if you've ever spent more than $30 on a smartphone accessory. I'm talking cases. I'm talking uh, Belkin. I'm talking in case. Leather, synthetic, whatever. Now, I want you to raise your hand if you've ever bought a non-shelter animal. And I want you to put two hands up if you ever spent more than $800 for a pug or a bulldog. Now look around. All those hands in the air. All those arms coming out of Threadless.com t-shirts. Those of you with hands up, and myself, I think it's time that we give up. And I don't mean this in a cynical, depressing way, but I think it's time for us to bow out, guys. we got to take our graceful leave of this planet and give somebody else a chance. There are only so many times we can, you know, put some frosting on this cake. Our sense of what is theologically correct and culturally proportional, proportionate, are so greatly fucked, there's no hope of return for us. Okay? We watched NBC's The Office and we wanted to be like Ryan and we didn't realize that the Ryan character was making fun of people and we got it twisted and now we gotta go we're half yuppie half hipster and yes I know we all make fun of hipsters but we still are ones and we're all evil And I don't mean that in a bad way just get with the program okay listen to what I'm saying don't react to it with your knee-jerk reaction oh he must be. He must be. An, uh, he must be from another ad agency. This must be an inside joke. Just listen to the words, okay? <clears throat> I got a sudden rush of inspiration here. Okay, I'm cracking up. I'm over at Pinkberries. I'm eating strawberry mixed with chocolate. Tastes like ass. Okay, Mike Lebowitz's favorite dish. But I got a sudden rush, rush of inspiration. I don't know if this is quality or not, but I want my personal assistant to write jot this down just in case, okay? Get this, for the new Glad Trash Bags campaign. Glad Trash Bags! Put shit in us! I don't know, guys. I think it's gonna go viral in the Twitterverse. Because if I learned anything in the past 10 years since I invented Big Spaceship, it's not about building brands. It's about building connections with your consumers. And by that I mean high production value Flash games with really shitty play mechanics and prominent logo placement. I'm thinking in a new campaign, we go around hitting people in the head with ball peen hammers and screaming, Palm Wonderful! <clears throat> You're gonna see the price of Palm Wonderful skyrocket. It's gonna spike so fast, Halliburton's gonna close down a couple refineries and open up some fruit squeezing plants. That's what we do. We take pomegranates, we make oil. All right, it's red gold. I'm looking over the website and I see like four blog entries here. My eyes caught the word Africa twice and I don't have time to look into it mostly because I hate reading, but it would appear that you have the notion somehow that women in Africa are gonna take the water jugs off their heads, remove the gold neck stretching bands, take a break from being genocidally murdered over some, uh, every kiss begins with K, diamonds, pick up a smartphone, 
and the Terminator Flash game is going to sweep over the continent and shed Illumination 2.0 into every corner of the world's toilet, instantly elevating the motherland, the cradle of civilization, to new heights. It's going to be a trendy microbrewery. You can get $20 beers and an H&M clothing store on every savanna. And the Ethiopians, they won't have to run anymore, Mike. They won't have to, because they'll have Priuses. That's right, the $30,000 car with two engines and 22 pounds of poisonous nickel in the battery. Now that's green. Now listen, as your conscience, I got to recommend a YouTube video to you, Mike. This is required reading. We saw it, but I don't think you remember it. It brought me to a new transcendental height, and I think it might make you all more aware and humanistic and less pieces of shit. It's called $500 Contest. Dollar sign, 500, contest. Thank you. You've reached the voice mailbox for Nikki Lafredo at Big Spaceship. I can't take your call right now, but if you leave a message, I will call you back. Thanks. Please leave your message after the tone. When done, hang up or press the pound key. This is part three of my voicemail. And if you don't like three-part voicemails, I suggest you get a longer voicemail capacity on your machine there, okay? Because the internet's moving fast, but I move slow. I'm like, uh, barbecue ribs, alright? You're talking about the McRib. I'm talking about real Texas-style ribs. <clears throat> I want to say at this point, personal side note, Joshua Hirsch, I checked you out on Twitter, I saw you tweeted me. Minister of Technology, that's a quirky little title. Did you self-title yourself? Did you pick that out yourself? That's very idiosyncratic. You must be a, uh, a strange, interesting, unique individual, okay? You could have called yourself asshole of technology, but you didn't. You're the minister of technology. Kind of has a Nazi ring to it, but still, quirky guy. You're like the Napoleon Dynamite, just rolled out of bed, don't care about my hair design, dude. Also, it says you're a video game aficionado, which I highly fucking doubt. I think that's bullshit. I think you play Rock Band on your Xbox connected to your cheap-ass Samsung flat screen just like everybody else. Um, although, if you're a Flash game aficionado, you might be that. I won't argue with that. I think you played Pepsi Puzzle Quest. And I think you like Nestle Crunch Marble Maze. I think those are the games you're talking about. And I got one question for you. You can answer it on Twitter. I check every 10 minutes. Do you drive a Scion TC or a Scion TC? And that's a trick question because I know you drive a GTI. Anyway, back to business. Mike, it's weird to hear a message from yourself, but I'm in your head and I'm telling you what to do. And what you should do is quit, 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 quit. New York is literally the worst city to live in. Quit, 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 quit. Get a job in car sales. Quit, quit, quit. It's more honest than your current job. I had to drink some Fiji water there. Quit, quit, quit. You are interchangeable. Anybody with an art center degree and a subscription to Ad Age magazine could do your job reasonably well. Quit, 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 quit. Three, two, one. Well, Mike. I'm glad we had this talk. Say, have you heard of that new fusion deep fried sushi and ice cream bar over in Park Slope? Let's get a zip car and try it out. They got sick $20 micro brews, bro. I'm going to leave you with another outro. And this outro is called 500 Miles to Go, once again by George Duke from the album Illusions. And that's because I think you got 500 miles to go before your own illusions clear up and it's some badass music I do say so myself that is fucking smooth and crisp at the same time like a Brooks Brothers suit or a Mercedes C-Class Tommy Hilfiger parachute pants. Milano cookie. 
bottle of Voss water. Or a 40 caliber Smith & Wesson bullet fired by Andrew Cunanan through Gianni Versace's silky black robes. Strangely enough, Andrew Cunanan's autopsy showed him to be HIV negative. How's that for smooth? However, they did find multiple tubes of hydrocortisone cream in his houseboat after his suicide. What do you infer from that little tidbit of info? It's not a prank. I hate your guts. The work you do. It fucking sucks. That's a freestyle. You make garbage websites for the highest bidder. Ogilvy did BP's campaign. What if BP tapped you? I think you might have taken the check. Cause you're a piece of shit. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Just kidding. No, I'm not. Your website sucks. Minimal design. High contrast. Font embedding. Yet boring as shit. All your ad campaigns are lackluster.